lot of us have fond memories of playing the Nintendo Game Boy. But what should you do when the colors of your Game Boy shell inevitably start to fade? Today I'm going to show you how you can actually reverse the discoloration done to your Game Boy and get it looking good as new again. It's actually going to be my first time retro writing, so I want you guys to follow along with me and we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. First things first, I wanted to show you guys my original Game Boy, which I think is in really nice shape to begin with. And compare it to the Game Boy in my right hand, which is the one that I just finished applying this RetroBright solution to. Now for starters, you're going to want to take the six screws out of the back of the Game Boy. There's four that you can see right off the bat, and two under the battery cover. Now that you have it open, you can see that the Game Boy is divided into two different parts connected by the ribbon cable. Now you'll have to be extra careful here, but you want to disconnect the two by pulling the ribbon cable downward from the side with the screen. Now that you've got them separated, lay them down face first and you'll see all the screws that you have to remove going forward. The side with the battery pack has these four screws. The side with the screen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to remove. Once you're finished with that, you'll want to separate the electric components from the shell. You can remove the battery contacts by pushing down from the outside of the Game Boy with a flathead screwdriver. You can remove the screen protector on the front of the Game Boy by warming it up with a hairdryer and then pushing it out from the inside. <laughs> now that you've got the shell separated, it's time to give that bad boy a good old fashioned clean. Once you have it submerged, you can use a toothbrush to really get those hard to reach places. Alright, that's enough with the cleaning. Time to show you how this retro bright method works. First you'll need a UV light strip and a clear container. This part's a bit tedious, but you'll want to tape the lights facing inwards all along the outside of the container. Once you're done with that, wrap the exterior of the container with aluminum foil. This will act as a reflective surface and make sure you're not losing any of those much needed UV rays. If you want, you can take a break at this point and make sure the UV lights are illuminating the inside of your case as you want them to. Now it's time to add the hydrogen peroxide. You want to fill up the container enough to completely submerge the Game Boy shell. When your container is full, throw your Game Boy in and make sure that the lights are hitting it in all the desired spots. I also recommend covering the top with plastic wrap to keep the hydrogen peroxide from dissolving and putting a roof of tin foil to add a reflective layer to the top of the container as well. Finally, turn off the lights so that you can check that there's no big gaps in the tin foil. Now that you've finished with that, literally the only thing left to do is wait. This is me checking after 12 hours of retro writing. As you can see, the Game Boy still looks pretty brown. I ended up leaving it in for a full 48 hours before getting the desired results. But, as you can see, once I put the Game Boy all back together, it ended up looking really nice. Putting your Game Boy back together again is a cinch. Just follow all the steps you took to take it apart and do them in reverse. Considering this is my first time retro writing, I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.